Hey guys, HW here. Come down to the beach today. I'm at um, Avoca Beach, which is about an hour and a half north of Sydney. And I've just set up my little beach tent. I'm here with the family, but I'm not going to film them. Um, I might have a walk along the beach in a minute. Um, just to show you what Aussies do on a hot summer's day. It's about 30 degrees Celsius today. And uh, we've all hit the beaches. It's um, public holiday for the New Year's. And uh, I'll just switch the camera around so you can have a bit of a look at the beach. And if you're wondering why my mic sounds a bit better now is because I'm actually holding this shotgun mic with a dead cat on the end of it. And so with some of my earlier videos, you probably think that it's dubbed, but it's not. That's because I'm starting to hold this shotgun microphone like this while I walk along and conduct my walking tours. So I'll just flip the camera around so you can have a look at the beach. Again, this is Avoca Beach in the central coast of Sydney. Just a quick update, we've only been here for about 10 minutes <clears throat> and my youngest has uh, just been stung by a man of war or better known as the blue bottle uh, wrapped right around her leg the wife's just taken her up to the lifesavers uh, tower to uh, be treated so general rule of thumb in Australia when you're here and go for a swim anything that's blue stay away from um, now the blue bottle is not exactly deadly but um, there's a lot of other creatures like the blue ring octopus uh, which are so just be uh, careful with anything that's blue in the Australian surf pretty packed along the beach as you can see let's give you a quick look back along Avoca Beach, back to the Avoca Beach Clubhouse. Rock pools over there, people fishing around for different sea creatures and shells. See what the water's like. Ah, oh, it's quite nice. Surf lifesavers, getting the jet ski ready. Plenty of rips out there today, so they're, they're keeping busy. Plus all of the blue bottles in the water, stinging all the little kids. blowing their whistles trying to get people away from the rip before they get into trouble oh look there's two getting rescued now people come to the beach in Australia it's quite simple the lifesavers come down in the morning and look for the best spot that doesn't have rips and all you have to do is look at those two flags the red and yellow ones and try to swim between them it's as simple as that but yet these people go out into these light blue areas where, which is obviously the rip and get caught it doesn't take long when you're stupid and try to swim against a rip that you lose your breath and you know that's when drowning happens
I'm gonna have to look out for blue bottles myself. Just felt something on my leg and almost jumped out of my skin. So I feel I'm back towards the beach here. Everyone's got their little tents set up. You never used to see that in Australia. Um, when I was growing up, most people just came down, whacked a beach towel down on the sand. And that was pretty much it. Maybe a couple of beach umbrellas. But now everyone's got tents, which is a good idea. Because the Australian sun is brutal. Half an hour in this sun and you'll be burnt to the point of needing hospitalization. These houses that you see right on the beach up here, if you're just wonder, if you're wondering how much they are, uh, you're looking at anywhere between three and a half million and seven million dollars for these houses. Now again, it's like an hour and a half out of Sydney, so it's not like it's right in the city. So yeah, these some of these larger, larger ones that you see up here is a few being constructed. Uh, I had a look just before I started walking and some of them, yeah, had $7 million price tags. Even some of the houses uh, built a bit back from the beach. I saw a couple that were 3 million and then further um, you know, a fair distance from the beach, uh, one between one and two million. What's this guy doing over here? He's hanging on to some sort of little rope. Wonder if he's trying to catch something, catch a bit of fishing bait or something. He's up, he's up to something. What are you trying to catch? Beach worms. Cool. Oh, there's, a little, there's a little crab in its shell there. It's just buried itself. at some of these houses up on the hill up here right up high there they command some nice views over the Pacific and a couple right up there on that headland it reminds me a little bit of Noosa of Oka there's similar row of shops in that back street back there too Another thing about this beach, the um, I, I'd, I'd call it a clay colour, the sand. That's not what I'm used to. I grew up around the eastern suburbs of uh, Sydney, uh, mainly Coogee and Maroubra beaches, and they've got a distinctive uh, white coloured sand, which I quite like. I'm not too sure about this clay coloured one. I, just feel like it's um, a bit dirty looking um, and there's something about white sand isn't it everybody likes the white sand
a look at that house up there on that headland up there it's it's got one of those cantilevers looks like over the top of their swimming pool it's got a real sharp corner or sharp edge on it which is nice There's the uh, surf life saving tower for this end of the beach. I can see a dog over there I'm pretty sure um, as we get past this tower just here that it now becomes a, a dog friendly uh, beach now, I wanted to bring my little mud here today but the wife didn't want to so um, he's been left at home so it's quite windy uh, hopefully the dead cat's pulling away some of this wind might turn around and head back I think there's too much more to see A dog there, I think, pretty much just did a crap on top of that kid's sandcastle, if I'm not mistaken. I, uh, I'm going to refrain from going over there and looking. Oh, here we go. Here's one of the blue bottles swimming around today, out in the water. Probably similar to the one that stung my youngest. She came back from the uh, life-saving tower just before I started walking and um, she had some clear welts on her leg where the uh, man of war or the blue bottle wrapped around her leg. You always got to be on the lookout for those when you jump in the surf. around a lot of the beaches in Australia you probably can't hear it on the microphone but um, even with the surf crashing in and the noise of the surf there's a clear sound of cicadas in the air as well oh here's some more blue bottles Surprised I didn't walk on those when I came through before. This little puppy dog over here. Christ, they're everywhere. Oh, look at them all. Boom, 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 boom. Bang, bang. The water must be filled with them. I think I might uh, give a give it a miss today. I'm not going to go out there. If you were wondering, if you look in the distance there and see all the people on the beach, um, 
that's pretty much as busy as it gets doesn't really get any busier than that uh, this is considered a real busy day and it's one of the new year's holidays so uh, and it's 30 degrees celsius so it's not surprising that a few people down here but i wouldn't call it i wouldn't exactly call it a like crowded beach you'd find it a lot more crowded down at bondi beach today as you pretty much you know you're pretty much 20 minutes from the city at Bondi Beach. I look right on the headland up there that uh, block of units that's um, split level going down the side of the side of the hill there I wonder how many flats are in there or how many penthouses or how many as you Americans like to call them condos are in there Must be cooling down a bit because I'm not as hot as I was earlier. Must be low tide as well because um, usually the water's all the way up to here, and that's why you've got quite a slant on the sand there. Because the water's already is usually all the way, you know, all the way up to here. I might shut off the camera now because it's starting to get closer to the families. Now lining up for ice creams because the brats want one. Damn it. This is what the rock pool looks like. The southern part of the beach. There you see the surfers out there. I think they pretty much enter the surf just here by jumping off these rocks. What's this bird doing down here? Fishing through. Get some seaweed or something. And I look back to 